Philip DeFranco is the biggest offender in my opinion, but I told him that it was a scam and he banned each and every account of mine that told him that. Philip DeFranco, Impulsive, Abba and Preach. Are these names ringing a bell? If so, then this is the video for you. Recently, it looks like there's a bit of a scam going around on YouTube. And no, this is not a scam that you will see at face value and go, yes, this is a scam. This one is kind of a hidden scam that managed to get under the YouTubers and out into the world via their videos. It's kind of what happened. So let's talk about this a little bit. I woke up this morning. I saw this video called Established Title Scam. Uh, by Scott Schaefer, and I was like, oh, I wonder what this is about. Well, this guy broke this thing down. Let's just take a few seconds to go into his video. I don't want to, like, watch his whole video because he gets into it. You guys can go watch it on your own. I just want to briefly kind of recap this situation here. And I'll get into who they are in a minute. Bought up a bunch of large parcels of land and is selling off phony titles to small portions of it. If you were to go to Scotland and try and claim your land or try and do anything with it, really, you would be laughed at because you don't actually own anything. Established Titles is still the landowner, and they give you a worthless piece of paper telling you that you own land when under the laws of Scotland, you clearly do not. That's what's crazy, because everybody that's been promoting this is like, oh, you can be a lord or you can be a lady. Established Titles is based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lords and ladies in England. And have your name on this land, but really, they're the owner of it, when you could just be all along donating right to that company. But there's another little portion of this I want to talk about so let's dive back into this. Now this old wives tale has been around for a long time and the court of the Lord Lion which is the highest court in Scotland in regard to giving out titles said this to clear up the situation. Ownership of a souvenir plot of land does not bring with it the right to any description such as laird, lord, or lady. The words lord and lady appear to those on whom a peerage has been confirmed and do not relate to the ownership of land. Ownership of a souvenir plot of land is not sufficient to bring a person otherwise ineligible within the jurisdiction of the Lord Lion for seeking a coat of arms. This is what I wanted to talk about because when I was watching like people like Philip DeFranco and there's a couple other YouTubers that I've seen uh, that I don't watch that have been using them, but Philip DeFranco is the main one here. So the whole time I was hearing these ads, I kept thinking to myself like, why are these ads going over my head? Like usually people are like ExpressVPN or they're talking about like some glasses company or some skincare and it like, it's very face value. You get it. But that one, there was like something that was just off about it. Anytime I'd hear it, I'm like, wh like, what did they just say? There was a couple times I had to replay it and I'm like, I still, Hey, I still don't get it. So this morning <laughs> I also came across the quartering saying he's cutting ties with established titles. Now, if the quartering is cutting ties, that's how you know it's not good, folks. The next video I saw was this girl, Tay Mimi, who said about my last video, and she didn't want to, like, say their name uh, in it because I think she had some deals still going that she feels really bad about. But she made a video talking about it, and I was like, dude. And there's another one. Look at this person. The click four hours ago said, I messed up, and this is him talking about getting effed over by established titles as well. Now, here's one thing I noticed. So when you go to the established titles website, notice it says eight hours and 20 minutes, right? Now watch what happens when I refresh it. It says eight hours and 20, now watch, you hit the thing again. Eight hours, it just keeps refreshing. So you can just keep refreshing and getting your time back as long as you stay on the tab. And it's like, that is number one, a red flag for any scam. But look at this huge list of people that have got like effed over by them. Look at this. Ben Shapiro, YMH, Matt Stone, Impulsive, Nico Avocado, M Meet Kevin, Graham Stefan. This list just goes on and on and on. Patrick CC even got effed over by them. Down here in the comments, the real Sully G says, Philip DeFranco is the biggest offender, in my opinion. I've been working on my own video that I've now scrapped since everyone beat me to the punch, but I told him that it was a scam, and he banned each and every account of mine that told him that. It means he knew it was a scam and continued to promote it to his fans and silence anyone putting it out. You can also clearly see by all these comments, like all these people being like, yes, finally people knew it was a scam, or I knew it was a scam. People are like, a deal, you know, a deal timer on a website. We knew that was a scam. All these people knew it, so that was an interesting relevation. But I want to talk about this other part of the video here. You can see that she's based out of home. So this is like a really important detail of it that kind of brings it all together. Uh, the owner of it, Katerina Yip, who's the co-founder and president at Failed Ventures, uh, she has a whole thing behind it. So I want to quickly dive back into this video. We're on LinkedIn. This is her page right here. And if you go to her LinkedIn page, uh, you can see that she's based out of Hong Kong, which is very interesting. Uh, not involved in, not in Scotland or anywhere near it. 
but you can see that she's actually involved. She's currently employed by three different companies. The first is called Failed Ventures, Failed Ventures, where she is the co-founder and president. And she's also a board member of Galton Voicier, I think that's how you say it, and a board member of Trifecta Retail Ventures. So let's take a closer look at these three companies. Uh, and it's gonna be really interesting what we find. So if we go over to Fail Ventures, this is their actual page, and it says, come fail together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't you think something's a little bit up there? Come fail together. Funny, uh, that's the name of the company that is running this scam company established titles. It's Fail Ventures, come fail together. So basically what this is, it's a venture capital firm, uh, someone who we'll get into who it is in just a minute, but they pump a bunch of money into this company, and this company, so basically what he says is that all these failed companies, these all just completely failed. The ones on the right are the ones that are like successful. They've like successfully scammed people. Uh, Deal Dash, their whole scam, if that's alarming to you, that was the whole thing where people just kept putting bids on items. And as they were putting bids, they weren't realizing that like the bid they were putting was adding up. So they'd have to pay for all of their bids. Plus what they got for the final thing, everyone just thought it was like the bid at hand, which is why things were like suspiciously cheap on there. And Cameco, that's like the knife one that you've seen some people do. And then, um, is all of these websites, whether you go to established titles or any of the companies that own or work with established titles, there is no mention of them ever having an office anywhere in Scotland or the UK. They are firmly based out of Hong Kong. Uh, they have no connection whatsoever to Scotland and they don't seem to have any offices there. Now, if you actually go to established titles, they do have an address for uh, in Scotland, and that address just leads to one of the plots of land that they have bought. So they do own a bunch of land in Scotland, but they don't appear to have any offices there. So from what I've said earlier in this video and what I've shown about who actually owns and operates this company, it's one, run by William Rolfren, who has a history of making Deal Dash and these other type shady companies. I don't know why anyone would want to do business with established titles. I, I really see no reason. The only reason that people are doing business with them is because of the money that they're getting. Like I've heard of people getting about 20,000 a month from them, but you know, money speaks and people don't care about the details. Okay. Uh, and I do get it. You know, sometimes you have no other brand deal and they're offering money. It's like, why not take it? And it's easy to take that amount of money without doing any research behind it. So, uh, you do feel bad for people that have promoted it that has completely screwed over their audience. You know, it might, might feel nice to have your little fake piece of paper in your hand, but I could also just, hey, print that at home. Uh, yeah, so that's that. That's about all I wanted to talk about. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers here, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.